Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is Temur, and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And I want to talk today about a very important topic, like a person which talked to me recently, and he was a software developer in software development, and he had graduated, and he had been working, developing code. He really liked it, but he wanted to move into cybersecurity because he was concerned about AI and the impact that AI is having, and he felt that software development is no longer a good career for growth. I did not agree with him 100%, and I did tell him that I don't think AI will ever take away 100% like software development, but I did understand his concerns, and I wanted to help him out when it comes to like how to move to a cybersecurity career. And I, and I thought, okay, if since I've already told him and I have these things fresh in my mind, uh, why don't I create a video so that more people can be helped? So in this video, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how if you are a software developer or in software development, how you can transition from that field into cybersecurity. Because it's not only possible, but it can be very rewarding. And your background in software engineering can give you a very powerful advantage. A lot of people are not aware of that. So the, the whole point of this video is this, how you can switch from software development to cybersecurity and what are the unique skills that you have that you can really take advantage of. Uh, if you're new to this channel, please do like and subscribe to this channel and share this video if you found it useful. I share like weekly advice on cloud security, AI, and general cybersecurity career advice. So please do share this video if you found it useful. So uh, what are we talking about here? Let's take an example of you, like you're a software developer and you want to move into cybersecurity. Now, the first advice I would give you is please do not throw away all your hard work. By that, I mean all the experience you have, all the knowledge you have. A lot of people think that now I'm gonna move into cybersecurity. Everything that I've done in application and software development, it is useless. I need to start from scratch, which is a major, major mistake. As a software developer, you have some seriously amazing skills that can be very, very useful in cybersecurity. You have a very strong technical foundation, right? Because you have knowledge of coding, system architecture, development processes, and that can be very, very valuable in cybersecurity, provided you apply it, right? You have problem solving skills because as a coder, uh, you need to like troubleshoot, you need to fix the flaws within the code. And these are skills you might excel as a software developer. You have attention to detail, right? You Because you need to write good code that translates well and you want to avoid any coding mistakes. Uh, Another amazing thing, you have experience of DevOps, CI, CD, pipelines, automated testing. That can be crucial in security rules like DevSecOps. And lastly, you have insight into software vulnerabilities, right? You understand the common coding flaws, how they happen, and how they can be plugged in. Unlike some cybersecurity people who have never touched code, who have never coded, you have all these strong, very, very strong foundational skills which you can leverage. So don't think that all your skills are useless now because you want to move into cybersecurity. I want you to first realize this, that you have some very, very powerful skills which can become very, very useful in cybersecurity. So that was the first step that, the first step was like realizing your strengths that you have, okay? Do not throw away all that hard work. Now, the second one is, now that you have realized this, you can identify the roles with the easiest transition. You don't have to start, like if you're in software development, I would not recommend starting like a GRC role, like a governance risk and compliance role, because it's not an easy match, right? It, it doesn't uh, translate immediately. Or a network security role, because it doesn't translate. What you can do is find roles where your existing skills will be very, very powerful. And you can actually leverage that and you might even have an advantage over other cybersecurity people. Let's take an example. For example, an application security engineer, right? There you can leverage your coding skills to identify, fix, and prevent security vulnerabilities in the software applications. Or, or you can look at becoming a DevSecOps engineer where you can integrate security practices into the DevOps processes, and you can make sure that security shifts left so that security becomes a part of every stage of development. Uh, you can even become a penetration tester where you can utilize your code and debugging to automate like uh, software testing, software security testing, all these sort of things. A lot of companies, they have programs like the Security Guardians program, like I work in Amazon, AWS, and they have actually a program called the Security Guardians, where within development uh, the teams, they actually have people who are like security champions, and they go out of their way to like promote security and you know actually show the value of security. You can look at that, becoming that within your team, if you don't want to move into the cyber security department, but you want to start cyber security, you can actually do that. Look at becoming a security guardian. Okay, so that was the second part, which is identify the rules which you might 
have an advantage of over other people. The third part is getting certified. Now here, you can actually look at becoming certified. Don't jump to certifications first. First, look at what you have and what, what rules apply to you. And then you can think about doing certifications like the CEH or the CompTIA Security Plus. If you already have a good knowledge of security, look at doing the CSSP, why not, right? And now that you have uh, the think of, uh, like uh, start doing certifications, start your study roadmap, like a 90 day roadmap to becoming certified. The fourth step is getting hands on experience. Here you want to try out security focused projects and get hands on as much as possible. You can network and you can join cybersecurity communities. I would recommend enrolling in hands on courses. Like there are many, many online courses like Try Hack Me, Hack the Box, right? That give you hands on labs and practical exercises in cybersecurity. Don't just read about cybersecurity. Actually try to get that hands on knowledge and look at like what sort of security roles are available within your company. If your company has a security team, you can express your interest in cross functional projects or temporary assignments. You can transfer temporarily that allow you to work closely with the cybersecurity professionals. You can set up a security lab, like a personal lab environment to practice security skills with virtual box or Docker, or whatever strikes your fancy, right? Uh, you can contribute to open source projects. There are many, many open source projects that need help with security. You can contribute to these projects and provide real world experience, right? Th that will help you build that portfolio. And you can like, uh, what do you call it? Write about your experiences. I mean, there are so many platforms like LinkedIn and Medium. You can actually document your journey and share your experiences there. And writing about it will not help, only help make those concepts stronger. It will increase your network. It will like what do you call the algorithm will get on your side on things like Medium and LinkedIn and help people reach out to you, right? And lastly, I would recommend this finding a mentor. So you can seek out a mentor in the cybersecurity field who can guide you to practical exercises and provide like real world insights and feedback. And they can actually help you save a lot of time. Things that would take you like six months to learn, you might figure those out in one month because you had somebody guiding you. So th these were the steps I wanted to talk about. And it is a good, like uh, if you want to move from software development to cyber security, it's not just a career shift. It's like a complete, you have to change your mindset, right? And it is a very, very rewarding field and you have an unfair advantage. So don't let ever anyone ever told, tell you that because you're moving from software development to cyber security, all your experience is bogus. It doesn't mean it can be having that software development knowledge. It can be a massive boost to your cybersecurity profile. So that's what I wanted to talk about. Quick video about this. Uh, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe to this channel. Share. Let me know in the comment section if you feel I should have talked about other stuff also. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.